we have just arrived here in Opet IDP camp and this is five days after the team got on the ground and already the foundation is in. We're already up to the second layer of bricks going in. It's absolutely amazing. This is what this kind of technology allows, that you can get on the ground. They're building with the soil right from this site. And, and it's drawing crowds of people. They've never seen this kind of thing before. So there's all kinds of people standing around in amazement watching. You are gonna see a resource center that's gonna have filter factory. It's gonna have a rocket stove factory. Jobs are coming to this area. I mean, it's exciting. As we pass through town, there's no work for anybody. And so this is part of the excitement of this thing is this is gonna bring life. People are gonna start working. They're gonna be building their houses. We've already been talking on site of people saying, I'm gonna build my house with this. And having a brick machine like this on site allows that. They'll be able to rent it, take it, and build their own house, start their life. I've been on the job two hours. I'm just learning, I'm a rookie. So just stand like this. That's all there is. This is after a week. We've been on site now. Uh, the doors, windows are in today. Uh, this is gonna be the first Connect Africa Resource Center. Already the buzz is going, so we're already up to here. I think this is where uh, aid work needs to go. Uh, basically, you got a group of, of local people here, uh, and you have help with training and oversight, but the whole goal is to get uh, these people to where they're self-sufficient. And uh, I think too much in the aid world, we're so focused on on the West coming to the, the aid of these people, and and I think we, we lose the, the simple fact that these people are very capable. And, uh, and it's great to see that we just come behind and give them a little support. And, uh, and very soon, uh, not long, a couple years probably, they'd be, they could be self-sufficient making stoves, uh, making bricks, making bio sand filters. Yeah, the consumer guys are very busy <laughs> because we like it. We are like the, the job and we want this society to, to develop in this area so that all the community of this area should also develop and learn more about new technology in this area. And they are very happy. Again, they have been coming here visiting, seeing the new machine, which they have not seen since they are, uh, the world was created. But they were amazed of, of the machine. And they said, this is a very good technology, what we have got in Africa. It was a huge uh, blessing to me to see that there's, there's other people out there that have the same mindset of humanitarian work, of where it needs to go, uh, instead of just massive organizations planting a flag in the ground and standing back and smiling and saying, look what I did. Uh, Connect Africa is going around supporting people and helping the people be able to say, look what we did as a people here. And it's just, it's amazing. It's great to be a part of it.